So we're going to start with my weekly check-in. I tell you what I've spent for the week, empty the purse, restuff the purse, and then use any money left over from that week to feed into challenges. So Hello on Saturday evening. Um, I was going to record this on Monday, but I decided to do it today instead to kind of get it out of the way so that I've got a freer day on Monday. Welcome, this is Esther. This is My Money Matters. My channel is about budgeting, cash stuffing, showing you any bargains that I've managed to pick up <laughs> and um, just share my journey with you of the benefits of cash stuffing. So we're going to start with my weekly check-in. I tell you what I've spent for the week, empty the purse, restuff the purse and then use any money left over from that week to feed into challenges. So I left you off here, Saturday got some snacks for £5.75. I don't even remember doing that, I put that in just now and I was like, did I, did I get snacks? So I think I was with my boys and we popped into the shop, I must have got some. <clears throat> one sixty-five from Pennies um, for an eBay purchase. Uh, this was to buy a sample, it's round here sample, it's round here somewhere, not some sample. Um, I've lost it already. It was a sample strip of glow-in-the-dark tape and um, I forgot to switch my lights on my car once this week. It was, thankfully, it was very local and I was kept safe. Um, but it made me realise, actually, I've got to be careful because my lights don't come on automatically. I need to remember to put my lights on. So I thought if I have like a little strip that tells me to put my lights on, it's a good reminder in the car. So I bought a little glow-in-the-dark strip and I've written lights on it to remind me to put my lights on. Um, and then <laughs> 50p parking, I had to go to the doctors and um, so parking was 50p. No spend, no spend, no spend. And then... Uh, yesterday, Friday, my son had red nose day for school, so a pound, I thought, would just take it out of pennies from my pocket, whatever was in the my purse. £5.25 for food, met up with a friend for our regular coffee and cake meet-up. £5 spent in charity. I, I saw this really nice dress, but because the material is a bit stretchy, it didn't fit right, so I had to return it, but I'll come back to that in a second. £25.80 at the dentist. Um, I did say to them, can I come back in a year for a check-up? But they wanted to see me in six, six months. It's like, oh, OK. <laughs> £60 for another driving lesson. Now, just a quick update on my driving. If you're new to my channel, I've started back driving. I passed my test years and years ago. I've now got my own little car. Um, I'm getting on really well, guys. I'm really excited to have my own car and feel a lot more confident in it. Today, I had to go into town where I was a bit busier, but, you know, it's really good to face these challenges. So my hope is my my next lesson, which will be in a few weeks, will be on the motorway to have a motorway lesson. And I'm hoping I can call it quits then and stop my refresher driving lessons. One, is expensive, and two, I don't feel like I need them anymore. I feel like I've... I've picked up what I need to and, and tips of what I need. So that's the plan. Hopefully um, that will be it and then I don't have to keep paying into driving. So the dress went back to the charity shop today, but because they don't do refunds, I had to exchange it. And thankfully my son was with me and we were going to buy him a hoodie or something. Um, but then he spotted this pair of trainers, which was a half size, which is obviously quite unusual. Now there were £8 for a pair of Reebok trainers, which is more than I'd normally pay for trainers in a charity shop but because I was returning the dress anyway it just cost three pounds and um, he could do with trainers so that was fine three pound ten more parking now I probably could have parked for free today but because I'm I'd rather go somewhere where I know I can park easily I don't want to be going places where it's busy and I can't park so I just ended up paying for three hours which then in the end wasn't necessary anyway you're gonna get sick and tired of me talk about parking and how much I have to pay for my parking. <laughs> um, yes, there is free parking around, but sometimes it means going into like a multi-storey um, car park or that type of thing. And yeah, to be honest, right now, it's just about keeping safe and being able to, to do things. And then for food this evening, we put on some sausages. I was like, mm, they smell a little bit funny. I was like, oh, we'll just cook them and see. And I was like, oh, I'll just get some chips to go with them. Chippy? Cool. So a couple of large chips and some curry sauce. Ten quid. Oh, anyway, um, got back, tasted the sausages. I was like, mm, no, I think the sausages have gone off. 
<laughs> they just taste a bit odd. So uh, just ended up with chips and subsidised enough food with something else. Uh, £5.40 for pennies in my pocket. I bought a pair of trousers, which I've actually got on my desk. So um, here they are. I love them because they are a bit of me. They are bright summer trousers. They were the only ones on the peg and 70% off. They were originally £18. So I got them for £5.40. So, uh, and they fit, which is even, you know, happy days and all that, as they say. Okay, so we're going to go straight into the purse. And Oh, the other thing I picked up from the charity shop the other week, £1.50, hello, for a six-hole punch. And it happens to be exactly the same one I've got. Now, I've gone through these for one reason or another in the past. Um, the laminate has got stuck or the spring has popped out. So to have a spare one of these at a bargain price of £1.50, I was like, great, I'm having that. So yes, what I was saying is I need to restuff my purse. I'm getting very low in my purse and I don't have much to put in my charity in my charity get my words mixed up, my challenges. Like literally fifteen pounds left and some some pennies in here. So I wanted to get the purse restuffed. I'm hoping for <laughs> always hope for a quieter spending week, but it doesn't always work out. Pixley's there because he was just sat in there. So, um, let's get this baby restuffed if I can find my monies. It's all falling down. So, all oh, week four already. Does this see me through to payday? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Ooh, might be a bit tight, but we'll see what we can do. So, this goes back in my purse for a week. Miscellaneous just gets a fiver. Please, we get 10, 30, give 20. I'll give myself another 10. Actually, I could have given one in gifts, but that's okay. We'll do that. Just some money for the old purse. Okay, so literally got £15 left. Just going to have a look because I've got my binders off to the side as well. To see if I can actually do any. Oh, I've put the uh, jiving 50s in here. I'm not going to be able to do that this week. Um, what I think I'll do is I want to make these priorities. So I'm going to put £5 in the £5 challenge binder. Okay, that's building up nicely, just with fivers. Sorry about the glare, because I am filming in the evening. So this now has 10, 25. I'm going to let that one sit out and dry for a minute. And then, let's see what we've got in here. So, what I might do, because I need 15 and 20s, I might just stick the 10 here at the front. And then I'll be have a nice surprise when I come to it again and go, oh yes, I remember that ten I put in there, so that I can get that up to um, the next amount. So that's that, and now we've got some little change to work with here. Oh, can I finish my two pound? Let's have a look. Let's go to the back and find the two pound. Yay! Oh, I've done it, and with another extra two pound to spare. That's exciting. Okay, hold on, bear with. Let's get these coloured in. Nice. And wow, 50 squidders. I'm going to put this in the emergency fund there. Um, I'm wondering whether just to. I'm going to put plus two here so that I can remember. Wow, I can't believe that. 50 quid in two pound coins. I'll just stick that in there for now and have a little think about what I'm going to do with that. I'm in shock. Right, nice shot. Oh, oh, that's a new 50p. Not seen that one before. Oh, it's a pride one. That's fancy, schmancy. Right, so 150p going in here. A bit um, not always easy to come by, are they? Right, and then we've got our 
Oh, I tell you what. Just so that I've got some money to go into Roll It Up. Let's put £2 into Roll It Up. So at least something's going in there. Sorry, I know it's noisy online on the screen. And then a few pennies. So it's still worth cash stuffing, guys. These pennies do come add up. Um, and you just stay consistent with it, really, is what I want to say about that. I've got one. These look shiny as well. Oh, they're 2020. Is this one a 2020? Nice. Something about shiny coins, isn't it? <laughs> a bit like a magpie. Right, 520p's. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. I will bring on pennies to put them in here. In the, in the pot. Right. That's it, guys, for me for another week. Um, short and sweet and not as much as stuff, but some weeks go like that. I want anything else to tell you? I don't think so. Oh, I was going to update you about my crochet, but um, I, I'm getting back to it and trying to... I want to do some more projects, but I've still got my cardigan I'm working on. Actually, let's go and grab it, because I've not given you an update on that for ages. So just bear with me, and I'm going to go and um, show you. So way back when um, I showed you a video of my all my granny squares I did, and I've now joined them up um, together. So this is going to be the back panel of my granny square cardigan. Um, look at those colours. So cool. So they are five squares across by, by nine, like that. And then um, you've got two panels here which will be the, the panels for the front of the cardigan. Now, I am working on... Um, I didn't realise I didn't have enough squares, so I need to do some more to make the sleeves and join those together. And then when I actually put the whole thing together, I think I need to modify it slightly so it will fit me. Um, so that's where we are. This is... It's so cool to actually see them all joined together. And I... It was my kind of... Uh, when did I start? Last autumn and maybe through to Christmas and then I picked up a little bit when my son was at the Rubik's Cube competition and I've been just itching to get back into some more crochet again so I, um, I'm i saying to myself right no more other projects until you know I've at least got the the squares done for the sleeves <laughs> and get those maybe joined together so that's where we are so that's that's all the um, all the granny squares coming along. So I will look like Esther and her amazing technique coat of colours. But I can't wait. It will look lovely when it's all finished. I do have to, unfortunately, weave in my ends. But uh, that's for another day. <laughs> but I thought I'd update you because you've not seen it in ages. And I love it. I love getting it out and having a look at it. So, uh, yes, one day soon it will all be done. So thank you for letting me indulge in my... Uh, sharing you with that and um i'll catch up with you again soon take care god bless you please don't forget to subscribe or just share the videos um if you want to do me a favor that's fine <laughs> take care bye for now